Tiny trackers are being fitted to one of our noisiest summer visitors in an attempt to reverse a decline in their numbers. For the first time, GPS technology is being used to map precise movements of swifts, birds which are known for their screaming call. The idea is to work out where they're feeding so we can help the birds to thrive. But as our agriculture and environment correspondent Connor McCauley reports, swifts are not stupid. Catching swifts is not work you do quickly. We'd put up our net at this nest site and sat back to wait for one to fall for the trap. Two hours later, and aware of our presence, they still hadn't emerged from the box. When one finally did, it was a mad dash to get to it before it injured itself. Well, this is what the residents of those boxes are really after. This is the ground up remains of three to five hundred bugs, probably from nearby Loch Ney. And it's to find out exactly where those birds go to get this stuff that this project is all about. Hold it with the legs, please. Okay. To do that, we need to take our captive swift indoors and fit it with a tiny tracker. It's an intricate 10 minute job to tie this GPS logger to the back of the bird. Scientists are hoping it will provide them with important new information. We're trying to understand how far they're going to forage, what sort of habitat they're foraging over, and, and so on. And all of this really is designed to inform us about the habitats that they need. Swifts travel up to 12,000 miles from Africa to spend the summer here. They're mainly urban birds nesting in old buildings, many of which are now being knocked down or restored. They're known for their aerial acrobatics, so won't the backpack affect their ability to fly? We have to put it on loosely enough that it doesn't impede the bird, but also tightly enough so that when the bird is moving around at very high speeds and subjecting itself to, say, four times the force of normal gravity, that it stays on the bird and doesn't interfere with it. And if a little reluctant at first, our swift is ready to fly again. His daily hunt for food, now part of a scientific effort to help him and his feathered friends. Conor McCauley, BBC Newsline, Antrim.